Ryan Garcia just trolled us all. Now when the build up first started, I generally did think Ryan was just trolling us. But as the fight got closer and the constant presence on social media coming in overweight and the so called beer on stage, I thought he had lost it at that point if I'm being honest. Well, he proved me wrong for this one as Ryan ended up probably having one of the best performances of his career. In the opening minute of the fight, Garcia was the one who made Haney pay with that ripping left hook that rocked him. And you can't help but think that punch alone did hurt Haney from that point, as he was clearly shaken from the force of it. And Garcia also took one to land it. While if you guys watch my pre-fight breakdown, this is something I've said Ryan tends to do by interchanging the jab with the left hook. Now from here, we did see Haney go a bit on his bike, doing the sensible thing, trying to outbox him for the next four rounds. And in my opinion, he even wobbled Ryan in the third round, I believe, with his own left hook, ironically, as Ryan once again made that mistake of posting out his lead hand and dropping the right hand. Nevertheless, Ryan took it pretty well. Once again, Ryan came back well in the sixth round, catching Haney with a right down the middle that I believe clearly shook him, and I think caught Haney by surprise as well as the quick flurry kind of had to put him on the defense and cover up. However, it was probably round seven that was the most memorable of the fight as he floored Haney which I believe was the first time he'd been knocked down on the canvas in 32 fights I might be wrong but moments after that knockdown as it looked like Garcia might go for the finish he caught Haney on the break with the right hand and was deducted a point by the referee Harvey Dock on the night now for me there was an excessive clinching from Haney's side which Harvey Dock didn't handle well in my opinion and even the deducted point was poor without any warnings, not to mention he was in the way when that happened. And obviously this helped Haney recover in that round as he was clearly shaken and hurt from that first initial knockdown. Now, maybe he was cautious that because of all of Ryan's antics pre-fight, he thought he might fight dirty, but it just really didn't help the flow of the fight, which in turn really interfered and benefited Haney for the most part. However, I guess you could say he took it into his own hands later down the line. But in terms of the knockdown itself in the seventh, as Ryan once again mixed his jab before throwing the hook, completely catching Haney off guard with it. While you've also got to question Haney's positioning to get that close, you would think after the first round that this would be something he would avoid at all costs, and standing and trading and being in distance with Ryan was always going to be a wrong move in my opinion. But regardless, I actually had Haney winning the next two rounds after that. However, in round 10, start off the round really well again, getting the second knockdown of the fight, catching Haney with a classic jab cross hook combo while he was moving back linearly, while Ryan kind of rushed forward with the attack. While I also just think it's the speed and the risk taking from Ryan that helped to get this knockdown in the first place. And from that point, Haney was clearly hurt in my opinion, and I feel the third knockdown was slightly similar, Ryan throwing the lead right hand this time, which buzzed Haney before he tried to clinch only for Ryan to throw a quick right hook left hook combo before the ref could jump in smartly, which is probably the defining knockdown in my opinion as Haney looked really badly beaten at that point. And well, Ryan bloody did it. And I think purely from a boxing perspective, I think most of us knew Ryan clearly had the superior power and speed advantage and it was evident from the first round, and this was always going to make him dangerous, as much as maybe he doesn't have the solid fundamentals in place. And Garcia did resort back to using that shoulder roll at times as well, where he exposed his back, which I think he'll get found out eventually if he keeps using it. But, you know, he was still able to neutralise Haney's jab for the most part throughout the fight in my opinion, which, as I just think Haney was probably surprised by the speed and power of Ryan. But in terms of Devin Haney, well, I think you've got to give the guy some credit. Got up the canvas three times. He was fighting a guy that had missed weight. And I think this is a wake-up call. I think standing and trading with Ryan was not the way to go at times. And I was expecting more of a strategy like we saw against Progre. And just like we've seen in the past versus the likes of Linares standing in the pocket, he got exposed by that left hook. But because Ryan missed the weight, he's still the 140 pound champion, but I think he's got to get this rematch. He has to do everything to get it or another big fight. Otherwise, you know, no one's going to ever let this go and he needs to go in with a completely different game plan. But it might just be that Ryan has his number. But you know what, guys? Credit to him for taking this fight, especially with all the uncertainty around if Ryan was even going to fight. Plus Ryan missing weight, he still went in there and fought. So you got to give him some credit, guys. And I guess for Ryan Garcia, well, he proved me wrong for sure. I didn't like the way he built up this fight at all on social media. I think missing weight still puts a stain on his name in some respect for this fight, but maybe him and his team felt they wouldn't win without the extra weight. But I'll let you guys decide what you think on that area. But I think styles make fights as well. I think Ryan's high risk, high reward style of fighting 
it's not really pretty on the eye at times. If he lands that left hook, he's going to do damage. Just the speed and velocity he throws at is just unbelievable and exciting. And I guess in terms of the whole build-up, guys, you know, I just got reminded of the Sun Tzu quote, all warfare is based on deception. And you know what? This whole build-up, Ryan has done that. He's made people think he's crazy, that he had absolutely no preparation for this fight. But he simply proved a lot of his wrong, including myself. And for me personally, I would like to see the rematch at the actual weight this time. Or for him to go on and face another top champion at £140. I can't see him moving up to 154 at this point. But clearly there is an issue with him making £140. I would like to see the rematch, I think. Especially after Ryan winning, I think there's definitely going to be more intrigue to see if Haney has any chance. Or if it was just a bad night. Or if he can impose a different game plan. There are those elements, but I imagine Ryan will probably look to fight someone else at 140. That's even if he can make the weight, but yeah, I think overall it was an exciting fight. And Ryan lived up to the theatre of the unexpected, I guess. And just a quick look at the punch stats, guys. I think it's pretty clear Garcia dominated in terms of the power punches thrown. 231 compared to Haney's 129. However, the jab percentage is much higher for Haney, which was expected. But yeah, I think the, the power punch output and even the percentage landed uh, from Ryan is pretty significant. It's clear to me that he won this fight. In terms of the scorecards, the 112, 112, I've seen a lot people give shit for that but but to be fair to that i think haney did win a lot of those in between rounds i think the knockdowns definitely played a part in garcia getting the win and i scored at 114 110 maybe another couple of swing rounds in there to make it closer but yeah i think overall garcia definitely deserved to get the victory and you guys i'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below what do you make of ryan garcia winning this against Devin haney would you like to see the rematch and where do both guys go from here i'd love to know this has been jamie from boxing life Thank you so much for watching, and as always guys, I'll see you in the next one.